Steam release here. Well, we're in the thick of things already. We're on to our second destination in Moab, Utah. And uh, we've been piling up the metals, baby. 24 out of 25 bronzes, as you can see down there. We managed to acquire a few golds yesterday, too. Looking pretty solid. So, we've got several options of what we can do now. I think I'll probably start myself off with something a little easier with a seven-point menu. Let's do that. Oh, boy. Okay. I guess we're making burgers. That's all right. Let's, uh... Let's practice the ballpark burger for a second. Because I don't think this one's actually all that difficult. It's, it's pretty similar to the hamburger, obviously. I think we'll be able to handle this one well enough. But double burgers is going to be pretty interesting to begin with. Let's see. So it's just one page of ingredients. And it's all first letter, isn't it? Besides onions. That's pretty easy. I think we could probably manage this well enough. Let's see how many of these we can knock out real quick when we've got them all prepped. How many grills does this dude have? You should have seen it when we were running all fried foods, man. Really gotta ask some questions about that. Yeah, we can do that. All right. Uh, so now we need two more points on there. And I guess that's probably going to be breakfast sandwiches. Salisbury steak is probably going to be the easiest thing to do, though. Let me practice that again. I know we've done it once. Yeah, it's just the U.S. And I think that's literally all you do for that. Oh, no, you got to serve them with the gravy. But the gravies are first letter as well, so that's going to be easy enough. Okay. This is a little a little more difficult. A slightly more challenging starting uh, menu. But we are getting into some more difficult parts of the game. Well, not the game, but this area. So, I guess I should expect that. The underling! Thanks for the 10 months on the pile. Welcome on back and appreciate it. Good to have you. Haven't made any root bear floats yet. No, I'm very excited to uh, reveal that, though. The very moment we are able to access soda floats, you know that's happening. You can go for a breakfast burger now. It's not a bad not a bad way to start your day. Well, it is a bad way to start your day if you're health conscious. Oh, my Z key. I, for I forgot. It's still busted. All right. Oh, no. Well, let's try again. <laughs> Hello, chef. Good luck today. That was fast, at least. Hey, Wolves, uh, should be in about an hour. Too much meat. About 11 PT, I think, is... We are nearing the next stop. ...expected drop. All right, let's try this again. Oh, I turned off my holding stick. Oh, hold on a second. I just realized I left that the way it was. I was wondering, like, why on earth are my holding or my uh, prep stations unavailable? I went down to seven for some reason. Genius. There you go. There we go. All right. Fix that. Done. How much meat can you put on a burger before the game stops you? I wish it was unlimited, but it is three. But that would be pretty funny if you could just keep stacking it Undertale style. All the way up off the screen. There we go. Now we're looking. We're, now we're looking back to normal. Next stop approaching. Definitely no need to prep any further burgers here. Further burgers. Did you ever play WC3 in the past? What is that? Well, I'm having a hell of a start here, aren't I? A great day. Oh, Warcraft 3. I don't know why I couldn't think of that. No, I never really played a lot of Warcraft. Which I'm sure is not too surprising given the fact that I didn't understand that I didn't immediately recognize the acronym for it. Or the the shorthand. More like Snorecraft. Got him. 
Oof. Oh, the pain that the whole franchise must be feeling from that burn. And instead, we have Bears 9 a.m. beers. I actually managed to make a burger. Okay. Steak and gravy. These are tough, man. I'm going to have to pay attention to which ones are uh, the normal ones, which are ballpark as well. Oh, boy, we need a lot. All right. Here we go. We'll have them all prepped at least. Most of them. Oh, this is going to be insane, man. Ooh, boy. All right. At least we kind of get to do it one at a time. It'll be interesting. 54 people here. Here we go. Oh my god. Wait, did I get it? I got it? Okay. Need more ballparks. Shit, I knew the moment I said a word, everything was gonna get fucked. So I'm sorry I had to go radio silence on that, but he's done it. Wow. <laughs> Holy fuck. Excellent job. Wolf! I never doubted you for a second. Bear, video games aren't supposed to simulate the stress and anxiety of high pressure jobs. <laughs> yeah. Ah! God, that was not the way to play at the beginning. That is not the way to warm up. Fuck me. That was insane. The bear literally only plays high stress games. Somehow that's kind of true. I don't know why I for some reason only subject myself to anxiety balls in game form. Blim! 13 months, thank you very much. I got the gold! That feels great. That was a hard one. I probably would have had to try that a few times had I not gotten it right then. Cool. Okay. Man, these are looking nice. Silvers and golds all the way through almost. Let's see. Might as well finish this off. 
Friendsgiving. Sounds fun. No, oh no, I was just gonna say no point requirement, but there's a 10 point requirement. Quite the contrary. I'm pretty happy with pizza slices on the menu. I'm pretty confident in those right now. Hmm. Corn dogs are easy. Oh wait, no, we got lasagna on there. There's a three pointer. Easy. Uh, three left. Onigiri and no, uh, that's not gonna work. I'm gonna have to do a four pointer somewhere. Okonomiyaki. Okonomiyaki. With a name that literally translates to grill what you like. The okonomiyaki is a type of Japanese pancake made of toppings that vary by region, though cabbage is almost always included. Though there are popular versions of the dish, theoretically anything thrown in with a batter and pan fried on both sides can be considered no okonom okonomiyaki. Because of this, okonomiyaki is often used as a symbol for unity, inclusion, and diversity, al often along with the phrases, there's an okonomiyaki for everyone, and everyone has one thing in common, we all love okonomiyaki. Though the exact origins of these phrases were un are unknown, evidence suggests they were originally crafted by an advertising agency to promote sales of the dish rather than an actual sense of unity and better state of society. That's a familiar story, isn't it? Yeah, that's gonna be hard as hell. Love the presentation, though. Cabbage. Shrimp. Sprouts. And kasu and bacon. And then you gotta serve it up with some sa- so Oh my lord, this is just bad. No, 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 no. Yeah, ooh, ah, ee, yikes. No, thank you. Variations on top of it? Oof. Oof, bud. I don't know about that one ever making the roundup. Jeez. Let me practice the uh, ice cream sundae a couple times, see if maybe I can do this. Hmm. I'm just seeing, I'm kind of just going by my instinct and seeing, seeing if that works. And it is. Okay. This seems doable. Yeah, we can do this. Sprinkles are pea. Mint, chocolate nuts, whip. I'm actually pretty good at this. Oh wait, that's Rocky Road, Rainbow Sherbert's. What's Rainbow Sherbert? S, okay. Rocky Road, gummy, yep, mm-hmm. I can do that. Sure. And then cookies. Make it easy. Change lasagna to chicken Sammy. I want to look at fried chicken. But it's lasagna! To live the X! 75 months on the pile. Thank you very much. My goodness. How about fried chicken sandwiches instead of pizza? How about that? Although I don't actually know how to make these. Hang on. That way it's a little easier. Oh, these might be, uh... Oh, these are just like burgers, aren't they? I think it's just a simpler burger. You just want to look at chicken, that's fair. I'll give you the nice long examination. There you go. Tasty digital chicken. And indeed, it is basically the same as the burger. It might even be a little easier, actually, because they're all first letter. Chicken, pickles, top bun. That's my kind of burger right there. Or my kind of chicken sandwich, I should say. All oh, this tomato and pickle garbage. Just give me the raw fucking meat. Don't even cook it. All right. Um... I'm gonna do pizza instead. Because pizza, you can just make all the difficulties in just creating the custom pizza, and then I can just serve it by the slice, so that's a lot easier. 
I think this menu is going to be a lot simpler for me if I do that. Sorry, not to give you what you desire. Let's have some fun today. But sometimes it's all about me on my broadcast. Every now and then. Pesto, cheese, pep, sausage, bacon, green and red peppers. Yummy, yummy. Ready? We're nearly there. Oh, I've been ready. Let's do this. I agree, pesto pizza's pretty good. It's tasty stuff. This game will always make you hungry. I gotta... Now that the game's out especially, I probably need to put, like, the warning in the stream title. Warning! Eat before watching! Red sauce, cheese, beef, mushrooms, onions, olives, peppers, tomatoes. Got it. Uh, another pizza. This is gonna be hard. Radio silence maybe for a second here. Sorry. Figure that out. Ah! This is bad. All right, hold on. Let me restart that. I thought I could prep everything beforehand. All right, Clearly chef. not. Show me what you got. That is hard. Wow. Making all those pizzas before that's gonna be nuts. But I think I might just have to give up on that and do something else. Spinach killed me for a second there on the, on the lasagna. I could not figure out what that button was for the life of me. A lot of pizza, a lot of pizza there, yeah. And it was a lot like the special orders I didn't even have a moment to get to, although if I could have spent some like if I had spent half the time on that and half the time on the pizzas, I might have been okay there. But I didn't really have the time to even process that option really. This is a fun song. I don't think I've heard this one. More pizza. And pineapples, yep. There's your Hawaiian, if anybody's looking for that. Okay. Got it. Praline P. I think I missed this one. I think I goofed that. Fuck. Dude, wow, this one's hurting me. I am struggling to keep up with these. Like, the lasagna is not gonna be an issue at all, but it's just, with how quick you gotta get through the ice cream orders there, that is hard. Music's good though, absolutely. one pizza order at a time. <laughs> All right. Oh, we really need to make one more. God damn it. All right. Pizza and lasagna seem to last forever in the heat lamps. They do, yeah. Good point. The lasagna... You Apparently can make them last forever, so I might as well just do that now. Oh, never mind. That's it. Okay. Well, with that only being two stops, that's probably more doable than I thought. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, as am I, Violet. Yeah. I don't think I've had an opportunity yet to uh, get the root bear floats in the mix, but we will soon, I'm sure. All right, we can go back and do that one at some point. Hey there, Chris. How you doing? Let's see if we can get the soda floats in there. The new foods. I think it is a new food. Yeah, there we go. Nice. 
All right, soda floats added. Now we need 10 points on this menu, so we're gonna have to get something big. Ratatouille could be a good one. I've gotten pretty confident with that. You get a decent amount of servings with that too. I'd feel okay with that. Do bears float? Always. Deluxe poutine. Oh my. Dunk the fries. Get some fried eggs, chili. What else? What else would be in the in the deluxe poutine? We'll soon find out. Chocolate sauce. Oh. Oh god. Oh god. Brown gravy and cheese curds. No? Brown gravy, braised beef, chicken and peas. Lobster. Holy fuck, dude. <laughs> Anxiety Prime. Thanks for the 14 months. Welcome on back in. Appreciate it. Look at this madness, man. It's a straight up lobster claw. Yeah, just slap it on there. Braised beef again. Coleslaw. I mean, like, look at all this fucking shit you can put on here. Yeah. Serve that up. Nummy, nummy. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. I think for the points, we'll take... Uh, we'll take Ratatouille. We need five beyond that. What could I add down here? How's about roulette? I think I've oh roulade. I think I have learned my lesson on. It's a little bit harder than I thought it was. What's this? Chicken Kiev. It's not well documented and likely originated from a mixture of French and Russian culinary influences in the 18th century. Famously, the dish was the subject of the award-winning investigative documentary film *Duel of the Fillings: The Deadly Rivalry of Two Dishes*. The film brought to light the violent underworld rivalry between Chicken Kievis and Chicken Cordon Bleu believers. Two clu two clutes, two colts who believed in the sanctity of their... Why is that so funny? Two clutes who believed in the sanctity of their respective stuffed chicken dish preferences. Enough to destabilize entire school systems and orchestrate complex thrift store heists in an attempt to undermine each other's claims to stuffed chicken superiority. The film shocked and resonated with a large number of audiences, resulting in record numbers of viewers bickering in theaters as they immediately took their own sides and felt compelled to make snide remarks for the cause. While some sociologists now believe the film and its resulting rivalries may have been a large contributor to the tensions leading up to the Blue War, this remains contentious due to the number of records that were destroyed in the blasts. Place the plastic wrap and flatten Two hits, remove the wrap, add the herb and butter, chicken piece, and fold. What if I don't want to do all that? What if I'd rather not? I mean, I'll practice it, but this seems absurd. Maybe I'll get used to the process. Hang on. K-P-L-L-R-H-C-F. K-P-L-L-R-H-C-F. I think it's the same every time. It seems to be. And then you just serve it. That's eh, not so bad. It doesn't let you really do it out of order either. Because you can't hit it anymore after you do the flatten. It's not like the chicken where you had to hit it exactly six times in the previous games. I guess I could do that. I'll, I'll try it. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll try it. I'll try it, I guess. 
And then we can do some slightly easier stuff up top, like a two and a one, probably. Or we can do like a three and a zero, even. Um, how about Eggs Benedict? Traditionally made of half of an egg English muffin, an English muffin, topped with ham, a poached egg, and hollandaise sauce, Eggs Benedict is created or credited as helping to popularize the term just pour hollandaise on it in the early 2030s. This phrase was often recited in response to an individual describing a difficult situation for which there appeared to be no solution, the implication being that a heaping of hollandaise poured on top made everything better. While the phrase has since gone the way of America's healthy youth, ha, Eggs Benedict itself continues to be a popular breakfast that is still served with hollandaise. Oh, you need two poached eggs. Mm-hmm. Boop, boop. Doop, boop, 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 doop. Hey, Zoke, how you doing? Wow. Bacon, ham, Canadian bacon, eggs, hollandaise, chives. Ooh, that does look good, though. Ooh, that, do that does look good, doesn't it? Mmm. 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 I'll have some. I'll have some, please. Thank you. This is a bit much. For a two-pointer, I think is what this is. Oh, this is a three-pointer. Okay, that makes sense. It's a little complicated. I don't know if I'm going to put that on. What's Navarin? Green beans, carrots, asparagus, peas, potatoes, tomatoes, turnips, bay leaf, and beef. Huh. Is that the same? No, I got different ingredients. Bay leaf, beef. We probably just served this after the fact, though, so it's probably doable. You can do them in any order, too. This one's not so bad. I could probably change this, too, to make it so they're all mostly first letter. Ah, uh, maybe not. Well, I, I can definitely change asparagus to A and carrot to C, because why are we doing it the other way? That doesn't make any sense. Peas can be E, I guess, and potatoes will be P. Turnips can be U. That's fine. All right, let's see if I can handle this well enough now. Leaf is L G C A P T L B. Got it. G C A P E T U B. There we go. Okay, that's the shepherds. Anytime it's shepherds, you just put everything in. So I just gotta remember that. This one's doable. G C A P T L B. Yeah, let's add this on there. Seems good. And then we need one more point. What's jalebi? A sweet dessert with a somewhat chewy texture. Jalebi can be served either warm or cold. Does anyone know how to say this one? Since 2037 in the United States, however, it has become popular to serve jalebi at room temperature. While it is speculated that the intent of this was initially to simplify the dish while being equally dissatisfying to those who preferred it warm or cold, it has itself become a point of contention as the meaning of room temperature can still vary depending on the room it's been sitting in. As a result, experts advise that, that uh, room temperature jalebi is best enjoyed while in a locale that is comfortable to the eater, wearing a, tight of, uh, wearing a pair of tight-fit denim pants, 100% cotton t-shirt, open-toed footwear, and nothing on the head or around the neck that is not culturally necessary. The J is silent, I'd guess. Like, jalebi? It wouldn't be silent, right? That'd be weird. That'd be a lady. Like, yeah, lady makes more sense, yeah. Let's practice it. Fry him up. Yeah, baby. Yeah, that's, a, that's what it is. Okay. Oh, cool. JSD. Joseph Smith's doctorate. 
There's a Mormon reference for you. All right, cool. That'll work. Ratatouille, Yalebi, Navarin, Soda Floats in Chicken Kiev. Another fantastic menu. Let's begin. Yeah, it's a one-pointer, so it's pretty simple. I am trash, you're not wrong. Okay. Uh, Navarin. G-C-A-P-T-L-B. Got it. Let's do another one. Good. Get our first chance to maybe see some root bear floats. Keep an eye out for them, chat. Chicken P L L R H C F. Okay. Cola float. Lame. Not what I want. Grape soda. <laughs> Stupid. Cola again. Wasting my time. One special order of Jalebi. There we go. Grape soda, are you six? Hey, any soda ordered in the form of a soda float is acceptable at any age, okay? I ain't about to judge. Your proficiency within the kitchen is unmatched. Let's do that again. Okay. Got it. Uh, let's do more Jalebi. Let's do more Navarin. Two orders, in fact. Got it. Grape soda again. Oh, I fucked it, didn't I? I accidentally put it in too early. That's okay. I can deal with one. I have one messed up. Still no goddamn bear drink, though. Where is it? Where is it, man? Ratatouille. Okay. Got it. Navarin. Got it. There we go. I might have to reset this since I messed that up. I might have to save myself. not resetting yet. Every part of me says reset it, bear. Reset it, bear. But I'm still not doing it. I guess I'm seeing this through. Here we go. This is going to be it. Yeah! We got it! Yay! Root Bear Float! This is why I didn't reset. Because I knew the magic would happen. Yay! I'm in the thing. Yay, I'm famous. Okay. Uh, Navarin. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. Nice. Okay, we can use some more Jalebi, I think. Or Jalebi. However you say it. We need it. On it, chef. 
good. All right, we're doing this. And more ratatouille. Good. Very nice. Uh, we need more Navarin. Got it. I think that's all we needed. He's done it. A 110 delicious combo. Yes, sir. Make that a 116. Okay. Japanese melon. I don't think I've had that one yet. Vanilla cherry lid. Nice. Okay. Good. Good stuff. Asparagus, peas, potatoes, turnips, bay leaf. Got it. Oh, God. What am I doing? I got another root bear float, but I missed it. I completely missed all those. I completely whiffed it. No problem, Chef. Damn. Oh well. Can't be perfect. Fucked up my own float, I know. The the shame in that. We missed two. I might try this one again. I think I can get this one. Yeah, I'm just going to reset it. I can do this. Get more chances at root bear float anyway. That's all that matters. Okay. Good. More jalebi. Nice. All right. I'm getting better at this menu. Root bear float. Yay. We get to look at it for a second because it's the last one. Look at that beautiful thing. Look at that glorious concoction. Admire. Stand in awe. Sweet. He's done it. Let's make some ratatouille. Good shit. Solid. Good stuff. Okay. Got it. You baby. That should be good enough for the prep. Nice. Hey Zeus, yeah indeed. CSD3 just came out today. The hype is real. Ready for the next stop? Running a food truck in a post-apocalyptic America. Doesn't that sound fun? Good stuff. 
asparagus, peas, potatoes, turnips, 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 turnips. Yeah, got it. Nice. More like current America, right? Yeah. Totally. We're fucked. Ha! <laughs> it's fun. Keep up the good work. Ah, uh, sloppy. Uh, let's go to the barn again. Good. Good. Uh, we need a lot of Yalebi. Repair! Woo! stuff good stuff knew I could do this one all right last stop is all this is definitely the hardest part I think definitely I think let's see yeah it shouldn't be too bad now boss music though I hit the wrong thing. Fucked it. Fucked it. Man, all those goddamn chicken orders at the end, dude. I thought I had a little bit of time left to prep. C-A-P-T-L-B. Damn it, man. That's such a bummer. Rainbow teapot. Thanks for the gift and sub to sketch. completely acceptable performance. Oh, well. Alright. Mediocre. CSD2 Classics. That sounds like fun. Let's do it. Ten points needed on the menu. Might do pizza slices again today. Oh, you know what? Tamales were an easy five. We'll throw tamales on there. And then I'll make it super easy for myself beyond that. With some turkey and sausage slices. Or ham, even. There we go. Now all we, all we need is three. Maybe we can do uh, sodas again. Soda? No? No. All right. Damn. 
Yakazi Kana. Yakiza Kana. Yakiza Kana originates in Japan and literally means grilled fish. It's distinct for being a common, simple home cuisine made using seasonal fish and often served with daikon. Because of its simplistic nature, not much is known about the exact history of Yakiza, y Yakiza Kana. Am I saying that right? Yeah, I think. Legend has it that it was created by early human fishers who grew dissatisfied with eating raw, squirming fish that demanded to be let go, or else they would send the humans to a fiery pit. These early fishers most likely saw it as fitting to instead kill the fish, fish and then grill them over a fiery pit. After which, the fishers were pleased to find that the fish no longer demanded to be let go and actually tasted quite nice all hot and cooked. Today, almost no fish are ever heard making demands. And... You... You Kaiser Kana? I don't know, man. Let's practice it and see if I can make it. This looks like it's the exact same thing as fish, but you grill it. Wait a minute, is that literally all? You put a fish on the grill and then you serve it? That's easy as hell. Don't even have to cut it. No cuts required. Put a stick in it, yeah. Throw that on the grill and hand it over. Well, damn, all right. Give that a whirl. I only need one more point. Okay. Well, why not stay uh, in the uh, Japanese wheelhouse and go with onigiri? And that takes care of our problem. And then we can do whatever we want. Then we can do whatever we want. How about dessert shooters? Oh yeah, a whole ass cake. How about that? Which is actually not as hard as you would think. You put yourself the... You get your batters in there. You put just your batters in there. Which are all first letter color coded, so this part's really simple. And then uh, once they're all cooked up... I think they can burn pretty easily. I think that's one of the difficulties of cake. But we'll find out. So once that's all cooked up, you get your cake layer and then your whatever layer you had that you cooked it with. And then once you got those layers all set, you just finish it off with your frosting. And then you're all you're good to go. And that's it. It's pretty easy. You just got to remember which uh, buttons are for which frosting. That's the big thing. And for which layer, too. Yeah, it's pretty simple. For a four-pointer, especially. If I needed the points, I might even add it onto this menu. Can I have a whole chocolate cake, please? I'm beginning to have a craving for it. Yeah, that's, uh, that's why I had to quickly uh, evacuate that practice. Let's just do donuts. I had donuts for breakfast today. That works. Let Dennis! Thanks for the eight months on the pile. Welcome on back in. Appreciate it. I'm going to practice tamales just for a sec to make sure that I'm not misremembering how difficult that item is. I'm pretty certain all it was was you get your husk, cornmeal, and then... Well, no, that's, that's a normal tamale. That's a basic ass tamale, but if you get yourself some meat in there, then you gotta do like the shredded pork is pea. Yeah, it's really not that bad. I'll do tamales. You don't like donuts that much? They gotta be good donuts, man. You can definitely get some bad donuts. I've had my fair share of bad donuts, but when I find a good donut place, ooh, it's nice. It's real nice. Yakizakana, onigiri. Yeah, it'd be, it would be Yakizakana, huh? Because it's onigiri. So it would be Yakizakana, I think. Uh, then slices, tamales, and donuts. Sure. Sounds good. Sounds good. 
All right, let's get moving. Here we go. Now I gotta move that out of the way, sorry. Okay. Right, yeah, turkey and ham are just ridiculous. Uh, I need a few more tamales. Okay, good. Snapper, throw it on. Mahi mahi, throw it on. I'm gonna take an extra second, I think, with the fish, too, just so I don't fuck up something easy. A whole ass ham, dude! Throw it on the grill! Why not? Serve him! Serve him! Serve him! Serve him! Serve him! Serve him! Then just one dude waiting for donuts. There you go. That was the most delicious food I've seen. Wow. All right, shredded pork. Good. More shredded pork. Oh wait. Fuck. Hang on. Uh, H and W. Good. Tilapia. Tilapia. The special orders are actually pretty easy on this one. And I really should have made fresh, uh, hang on. I really should have made fresh slices here. Ready? But, uh, there. we'll be fine. There we go. Once the slices run out, I'll have to make a fresh one, obviously. But not too big of a deal. Not too big of a deal. Uh, got your icing there, buddy. There you go. Cool. You're so hungry. This is only going to make it worse. Go get some food now. You've got a five-second window before we take off to stop three. And boom. Okay. You were the best chef ever. Congratulations. Uh, I could probably keep that, actually. Let's go ahead and make a fresh ham. And I actually need two of those. A uh, bunch of tamales again. God damn it. Uh, H, M, chicken is shredded, chicken is K. Yeah, that one's slow as hell. Holy shit. Not again. Okay, good. I think that's right. Okay, got it. Molly's H M P W. Good. H M G W. Good. Uh, might as well make another set. Why not? While we're waiting for all this whole ass turkey to cook, there we go. And another. Uh, let's see. Oh, we're actually in excess of everything now. Cool. We're doing it. I did used to have a uh, Bears 9 a.m. beers shirt slash poster slash whatever you wanted to put it on available. I am looking at it right now, actually. It is in front of my, or it's hanging up on the wall in front of my desk. Cooking and serving. She said the thing! <laughs> Yay! The game's out! 
It's out on Steam just in time for our perfect day! Yeah! Wow, that's pretty darn impressive. Yee -yee! Yeah! He's done it. Yee -yee -yee! All right. Tamales are resin and you know it. I mean, that's a pretty nice way to get a five point item on the menu. I'm not going to lie. That is maybe not a five point item. I, I would go so far as to say maybe that should be brought down to like a four or maybe even a three. Because it's not that hard. Uh, I can do this. Ten points. Okay. Let's do... What about pie? Pie slices are pretty easy. Right? Because you just gotta make the... You just gotta make the kind of pie that they need. Yeah. No, this is a... Another fairly simple one that can get you a bunch of points. Let's add that to the menu. Uh, how about pho? Pie and pho. Slash pho. That'd be interesting. PB. Pho had a bunch of, like, uh, after the fact options, though, doesn't it? I think it's a little more complicated. It's fucking good. Mm hmm. Eh, it's not so bad. Onion and cilantro are the only one. Well, lime, I guess, too. But I could change lime to L. And cilantro to, like, R, I guess. B, L. Oh, hold on. I gotta do. Well, maybe I should just go with the default, actually. Hang on. Always basil and lime. Yeah, so that's not. It, al it always ends with B, I. So just pay attention to the first two ingredients for the most part. What's jalapeno? It's J, right? Oh, I did cilantro C. Whoops. I could probably do this. Cilantro's L. I want to put... Man. I want cilantro to C. But chives has to be C. So chives could be H. I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna try chives as H. Cilantro C. See if that helps me out. Chives is H. Onions, cilantro. That's a bad idea. Let's just do the normal. I don't think I even want to do pho. It's a little too complicated right now. Ooh, lasagna. Do it. There we go. There's some so there's a solid six points on the menu there. And then let's go with We could do Shepherd's Pie. We've been doing that a little bit. The game is out, I believe, yes. Pork loin. Ooh. Pork loin was not invented, but instead discovered by an extraordinarily lucky person who either happened upon or had slain a pig and subsequently started dividing its meaty parts into various chunks. Additionally, pork loin is sometimes cut up into smaller pieces called pork chops and pork steaks, depending on the presence of bone. One of the greatest little-known facts about pork loin is that it was the inspiration for much of William Shakespeare's best work. According to primary sources discovered only a few decades ago, William Shakespeare had a pig that kept him company as his pet. The pig, cleverly called pork loin, or no, Pork Lion, that's good, would often speak to William Shakespeare in his dreams, often regaling the writer with stories of Pork Lion's childhood, which included much death, deception, comedy, and romance between Pork Lion and a neighboring goat with whom Pork Lion was not allowed to associate. Upon real realizing that Pork Lion had such a talent for storytelling, Shakespeare prepared pork loins out of him so as to eliminate the competition and then published the pig stories as his own, changing the names, locations, and other details to appeal to human audiences. What a revelation. Traditional rap season. 
torch. Cut. Stuff. Apples and cranberries. Mm-hmm. Pork cut. Traditional. I wonder what that is. Looks like peas, maybe carrots. What is this actual substance, though? That we're wrapping up in here. Does anyone know what, like, a traditional pork loin filling would be? Caramelized onion. Ah, oh, okay. That makes sense. This isn't that bad. It's actually pretty easy. Spin pesto might confuse me, but that's the S. It's the S. Sketchers! Cran is R. Cran slash rose, that should be easier to remember. Okay. Oh, that's not right. Or is that right? I don't know. Yeah, it is. Okay, I could try that out. That's like all the points then that we need. So we can just do like cookies, Buddha kimchi, and jerk chicken. Sure. Works for me. That'll do. All that loin. Mmm. All right, let's get moving. Plenty of pork. Lasagna. First, let's do the simple part here. Okay. Oh God. Whoops. That's not a good start. Okay. Whoops. Man, goofing this up. Okay, there we go. Good stuff. All right, sorry. It took me three years to learn how to cook uh, lasagna for y'all, so it's going to be a minute. There we go. Almost there. Almost there. It's on the way, I promise. We'll have it here for all y'all. Did it say this was a Thanksgiving meal in the upper corner? Did it? Well, we're pretty... We're fitting in that theme pretty well, inadvertently. That was unbelievable. I am so proud of you. Thank you. All right, let's do three pies. Oops, that's not it. Okay, three pies and three lasagnas. Good. Uh huh. Six Ready peanut butter, step. eight kgm. Got it. Good. All right, we're set. We're set for the go here. Yay! Go 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 Staying hydrated today. Plenty of time. Everyone's just chilling. No rush here. Nobody's got anywhere to be. A pie to eat. Mm-hmm. All right. You were the best chef wow! Congratulations. Wow, that is a lot. Let's do two pies this time. Actually, let's do four pies, because the pies are harder for me to make, actually. So let's do more pie prep. That's going to help me for sure. Okay. All right. 
Got all that. I'm gonna do like five pies, actually. And then a bunch of lasagna at the end. Good. No problem, chef. And of course, sending the pie orders in one at a time now. All right. This should be fine. Let's make another set. No problem, chef. No problem at all. There we go. MCC development update? Ooh, what are they saying? Anything big? Do, 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 do. 150 combo. Hey, pretty good day. Pretty damn good day. I'm happy. Just waiting on this. Is there any meat this man can't jerk? Stopping out right in front of yogurt and cheesy buns. Oh, yeah, there is one more stop, isn't there? All right, well, let's get ready. Same deal, basically. All of the, uh, all of the pies here. Three pies, actually, will do it. And then cranberry and whip. Ready? We're nearly there. Spin and pesto. Apple crayons A. Good. Now we need to make a bunch of lasagna again. Oops. No problem, chef. Got it. There we go. Pretty much done. There we go. We got it all. Easy peasy baby. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, it's just the modding update. Yeah, I saw that one. Not too exciting for me. Dum 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 dum. He's done it. He's done it. Yay. Whoa. I think that's a perfect run. That one that one wasn't too bad. And one slice of lasagna left for me, that's right. The single balloon gold. Oh well. I mean I had a level three thing on there. I thought it deserved at least two balloons. Oh well. I can go for about an hour if you were. All right, well, so far so good, man. Let's go ahead and knock out another 10-pointer. Tailgate traditions. All right, so we gotta be serving up some fried goods. Ooh, chopped brisket sandwich. Before the invention of chopped brisket sandwiches, whole brisket sandwiches were sold by a small sandwich shop in Odessa, Texas. Although whole brisket sandwiches were a success, the enormous size of the meat resulted in approximately 90% of customers leaving with unhinged jaws. While the owner of the sandwich shop originally cared a little for this problem, he later became concerned that the screaming was scaring away new customers. A sandwich-related pragmati pragmatist at heart, pragmatist? I don't know. The owner ultimately decided to chop the brisket up before including it in the sandwich. The move was a huge success, and as a result, screaming was down 85% with the remaining screaming caused by unrelated issues. Bum. Bum, bum. Inject that brisket. And then we have to pull it apart bit by bit. Pragmatist. Thank you. I do like to say words correctly. 
because I know every time I say a word incorrectly as a streamer, there's at least three or four people going, what is this moron talking about? Roast beef, bee sauce, top bun. So it's either bee sauce or spicy sauce. That's easy. Yeah, that's not too bad at all. You get 12 per uh, holding station there. That's, that's nice. Let's go ahead and put that on there. Why not? Hey, bee sauce Michael here. Ha, ah, I get it. I get it. Hmm. I can't believe these slices count for a point, man. It just doesn't seem like even fair. What do the sausage slices look like? All oh, right, yeah, we've had these. We only get eight per. You can have the black pudding there too. Yeah, sure, let's do it. Okay. Ooh, the whole ass pizza. Oh man. Oh, see, this is why this is a five-pointer, because when you make a pizza in the holding station, you can at least serve it to multiple people. With this, you're only making a pizza for one person. That'd be hard. Hmm. Dude, this is gonna be tough. These are the only options we have for this stuff. Let's have a look at corn chip pie. A popular dish in many regions of the United States made of corn chips, chili, cheese, and sometimes assorted other toppings. Although it can be made in a casserole dish for many people to share, some prefer to simply open up a bag of corn chips and make a single serving in the bag for themselves. Many psychologists have studied the effects of these two distribution methods of corn chip pie, and the results have been somewhat mixed over the years. One of the largest and continuing areas of debate is whether or not those who enjoy the single-serving bag version of corn chip pie are better people than those who prefer the casserole dish version, with an increasing amount of studies finding evidence for both sides of the argument. Statistically, however, the casserole version seems more popular overall, much to the chagrin of bag lovers everywhere. Oh, this is... This has been on in the game before. Oh yeah, of course there's variants. So CJN there. Just the freedom pie. Oh no, that's what is that one? H cheese jalapenos and onions the same. Where's the other one? Give me the other recipe so I know what it is. Give me the other one. And yeah, no, that's that one. Come on. Eventually it's gonna show up with the third recipe. CJN, still the freedom pie. Corn chip classic, there it is. So that one is HCJ. It's H, oh, it's HC Justin. Okay, every time it's corn chip classic, it's HC Justin, we gotta remember that. Okay. Baked hot wings and traditional hot wings. What's the difference? Trad wings. Trad wings. Trad wings. Oh, those are BLS wings, whoops. Spices, and then they got some... Oh, you gotta add the wings, toss, and mix. You gotta make sure you got the right sauces in there, too. So it's a little complicated. Eh. Just take the pizza and show us, show us you're the man. Yeah, that's... That's gonna go real great, I'm sure. Just whip up a bunch of pizzas real fast, Bear. If I practice this enough, I could probably do it. But pizza's hard, man. Whoops. Yeah, this is not a good idea. Not a good idea. Fried chicken. We 
We've done this before, apparently. Oh, right. Change dunk to K. All right, we can do fried chicken. And then... How about a small custom sub? A custom variant of the sub sandwich with randomly generated recipes. Sub sandwiches were originally created by the US Army during World War II. Ammo was hidden in hollowed out bread and then smuggled across enemy lines, leaving opponents none the wiser. At the end of the war, faced with war, ho war houses full of hollowed out bread that could not be used in any standard baking capacity at the time, the army created a new, unique way of eating these submarine breads, filling them with a delicious array of meats, cheeses, and vegetables. The public was initially scared of these massive, long sandwiches having been used to, having been used to sandwiches of the wedge variety. So the CIA paid off famous hunk James Cadley to be seen eating the subs around various LA hotspots. And, and the rest, as they say, is history. If you hollow out your bread for sandwiches, you're a monster. That's why you never eat at Jimmy John's. I do it all the time. Shit's unacceptable. This is just... Speaking of unacceptable, oh my god. No, maybe I could. Maybe I could do it. You go meats, which isn't that bad. Turkey's the only confusing one is you. And then cheese and veggies, which are all pretty easy as well. Onions always in. Pickles, jalapenos. This one's not so bad. Provolone and onion are the only ones that aren't first letter. And then you got your olives, banana peppers, green peppers, cucumbers, white bread. And that's white, wheat, and rosemary. Oh, no. Okay, provolone is going to be V, right? Yeah, okay. Turkey, cheese, lettuce, tomato, cucumber, onions, rosemary. What did I fuck up? Rosemary's R. Onions, N. What did I mess up there? Turkey's U. Provolone's V. White bread, okay? And provolone, rosemary. Got it. Salami, Swiss, rosemary. Got it. Roast beef, cheese, olives, wheat bread. Oh, no, wheat bread is H, right? Yeah, it's H. Okay. Ah, oh, fuck. I can definitely see myself screwing something up in the, in the heat of the moment with this. The amount of things that you've got available here. Yeah, I mean, eventually I think I'll be able to do that, but I don't think I want to add that to this menu. Although, well, I don't know. This menu's actually not that bad. We could probably do it. Turkey... Oh, no, yeah. Turkey's you. Turkey's you. Turkey's you. Provolone, pickles, jalapenos, olives, and rosemary bread. I'll try it. I'll try it out. Let's give it a give it the old college go. Well. Good to see you, Chef. Here we go. You're a turkey. How dare you? <coughs> <coughs> Pardon me. Goodness. Okay. Sausage time. Let's do it. First sandwich order. Got it. That's not so bad. stations for that and we're all set besides the one more bit of brisket okay gonna make some sammies capicola is c right okay b l t n w good 
nice. Chili, cheese, jalapenos. Got it. Nice. Turkey is you. Got it. Very nice. I knew you could do it. That was amazing. All right, whole bunch of brisket. Whole bunch of it. And then two orders of these. More brisket. I got it. I think I got it. Instead of B, one time is all it takes. Burn it all down, run the truck into a ditch. It's all over. Ah, oh, it fucked up the prep. Oh well. Wait, did I just fuck that up? I think I fucked up the first sandwich order. Which I guess that would make things easier. If I get to reset real quick. Get your shit together, dude. I know. I'm, I'm just fucking up all over the place here. I'm sorry. That is my fault. All right. We're fine, I guess. There we go. I love watching you work, Chef. Mm-hmm. Two sausages. Maybe three. Nope, just two. We're good. Bacon, capicola, cheese, and wheat bread. Nice. Nice. Mm-hmm. Oh, the music for this game is awesome, yeah. For all three games, which uh, I didn't realize until it was pointed out to me yesterday that they were all done by the same guy, Jonathan Gear. Chili cheese. Oh, it's HCJ. It's the it's the hardcore Justin classic. There we go. Jonathan Gear, yeah, is the name of the guy. He made every soundtrack for every one of these games, and they're all fantastic.
Nice. Getting better with the Sammies. All right, all set. Oh, I missed one? Ah, oh, I didn't even realize I missed one. Oh, I missed two. What the hell? What's the matter with me? This is all just imperfect and right, impure and disgusting and wrong. Ew. I thought I was doing good. Man, fuck. Would you just... Bear, would you just stop losing? Please? We need you to stop this. It's time to be perfect again. Two kinds of onions, huh? Really like their onions. Alright. Alright then. Trying to make sure I wasn't fucking up anything with that sandwich, and I'm pretty sure I didn't. Thank you. I think I need two of those again. No, we're good. More sandwiches, though. I did tuna and turkey, man. Tuna is T. U for turkey. You are a turkey, bear. You are a turkey. And it's not an insult, it's a reminder. Okay? You're a big gobble turk. When I said turkey to K or Y, I mean, it probably would help. You for turkey. You are a turkey. Okay, we're good. Let's do this. All right, there we go. I knew you could do it. That was amazing. And we're good. Salami, S, Swiss, lettuce. I'm just making sh doubly sure now that I'm not fucking anything up. I thought I, go I thought I was getting right. Pretty sure I'm set. Wonder if they have voice lines if you completely screw up a stop. I hope they do. That'd be fun. Although I probably won't want it in the moment. JN. Here we go. That's a hardcore Justin right there. Taking care of it, chef. Uh oh. More sausages. We just get to take our sweet old time while we wait for that entire batch to cook up for this one lady. All right, fantastic. Let's get our other prep done. Looks good to me. Probably need more sandwiches, actually. Let's go for that first. All right, what do we need? I knew you could do it. Uh, brisket, actually. I was right. There we go. Roast beef. Take your sweet old time with this one, man. We got all the time in the world. Bacon, roast beef, Swiss, lettuce, tomato, pickles, jalapenos, olives, wheat bread. Hell of a sub right there. Okay. Six, 
Salami, pickles, jalapenos, olives, white bread. Okay. Seven, ham, olives, white bread. Got it. Eight, roast beef, cheese, lettuce, tomatoes, olives, BGU, white bread. Got it. Taking my sweet old time. He has gotten the perfect day. Dan Geasley! Just kidding, I haven't gotten the perfect day. There's one more stop. Oh God, you're just in time. Just in time for the intensity to ramp up. Daniel Raiders, welcome into excellence. We're almost there. There we go. Let's get this shit done. An HCJ. That's an HCJ right there. We got this, yeah. Cool. Star Yelp review. Yep. Cook, sir. Okay. Fuck you! Come on! Better than okay. I served 200 people perfectly. God damn it. Courteous Canadian. Thank you for the bits. Oh boy. It's always it. It's always right at the tail end, man. Dan, thanks for the raid. Welcome, everybody. It's CSD3 launch day. If this game looks fun to you, it just came out on Steam. You should go check it out. Remmers, it's going to come back at some point. I know, I'm sorry. I feel very bad that I haven't finished Disco. But this, ha this had to take priority this week, obviously, for me. Um, and it's been so long now. I don't know, man. I think... I think I might just have to do Disco as like a, a game that we tack on to the end of streams and hopefully... I think that's what Malf ended up doing at some point too, is like the game's just so long and so in-depth. I think I'll just have to try to finish it over the course of like months, you know? Do it at the end of streams where I feel like I can do a little bit more and just play for a couple hours at a time. We'll see. Why do you think NL didn't do it? I mean, like, I, I don't blame him. It's a hell of an undertaking, absolutely, especially as deep as I am now. Well, it looks like it's time for the exit. More rolls and sizzling beef. 15-point menu. This is going to be a tricksy one. Buttercup! Thank you for the gifted subs. Bear hugs to all y'all. Welcome on into the pile. Thank you very much for the support, Buttercup. Appreciate the gifted subscriptions. Welcome to the bear pile. Good to have you. All right, we got plenty of space to put together a 15-point menu here, so I'm not going to worry too much about getting uh, points early on. Let's see. Let's start with... Uh, well, let's keep it easy. Let's go with, like, bald eggs and... Welcome hmm, to the bear pile. Maybe, like... I mean, I could probably use some points early on here. I like the... Like the... Croque Monsieur. Welcome to the bear pile. You want to do a pure egg run? Eggs only? We could do that, probably. <coughs> Pardon me. I think that's all you have to do for this. Yep, that's that. 
I don't know if I'll be able to get 15 points off of eggs exclusively, though. Eggs Benedict. See if I remember how to do all these. Hang on. Make some boiled and poached eggs and then a little bit of griddled eggs while we're at it. Mm-hmm. <coughs> Pardon me. Goodness. Oh, yeah, Jesus. I forgot. Eggs Benedict are a bit intense. And it's not always the same. Classic Eggs Benedict is different. Yeah, that's tough. I don't even want to put that on the menu, man. I'm going to give up on the eggs thing early. <laughs> Cause that's hard. Let's see. Let me look down at the uh, special order menu and see if we can even like conceivably do it. We could do an omelet and a quiche, and those are kind of they they kind of count, right? And then a breakfast sandwich. That would maybe work. How hard is a quiche to make? Popular party food made of a pastry crust and filled with custard, cheese, meat, seafood, and veggies. Quiche is good, yeah, I like a quiche. I'll have a quiche for sure. Believed to have ties to the German word Kuchen, which translates to cake in English. Because the name is Germanic, but the food itself was first mentioned in French Texas, believed that credit for creating the quiche was at one point the source of much conflict between the two regions. While each side remained steadfast for many years over their claim as creators of the, of the dish, a compromise was eventually met wherein the French would claim creation and naming rights, and in return, the Germans would be allowed to continue, continue existing as a people. What the fuck? Crust, potato, asparagus, spinach, tomatoes, mushrooms, egg batter, mozzarella. It might not be too bad, actually. Because those are all first letter, right? Besides chives, which I could change. Although crust is C. Uh, I guess I'll just leave it second letter. So it'll be like, onions, bacon, asparagus, ham, sausage. Sausage is U. Y. Sausage is S. There we go. And then spinach, tomatoes, egg batter, and then the cheese. That's not too bad. Chives I. Chives is I might be weird. Maybe, maybe like B for chives? I'm gonna try V for chives. See if I can do that. And then spinach, mushroom, egg, mozzarella. Let's see, crust, asparagus, chives, spinach, mushroom, egg, mozzarella. This is pretty easy. This is doable. Yeah, let's do that. That's a four-pointer. Tossing on the menu. <coughs> My apologies about the cough. I don't know where this is coming from. That's bad. Uh, oh, breakfast burrito. That sounds fun. How do you make a breakfast burrito? Eggs and oil. Eggs and oil. Shut up, Google! Just eggs and oil all day? Eggs, potato, and oil. All right, what do we get? It's more eggs, man, yeah. Eggs, cheese, red sauce, wrap, foil wrap. That's easy. These are all first letter, too. I can do that. Refried beans is R, right? Yeah, those are all first letter stuff. It's not that bad at all. I can totally do that. It's a four point item. Do it. Absolutely. You only need three more points now. This is fantastic. Cereal is two points? Oh my God. He's not, this is done, easy. Muffins, set, we're clear. We got it. Yeah, my bad. 
I didn't read all the lore. Sorry. Man, I can even make this easier on myself. Da, 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 da. Biscuits and gravy. We haven't done this yet. Best known for their role in the downfall of the microstate of Bish Biscantine? <laughs> Biskenstein, a small area in present-day Arizona. In 1912, wanting to position itself as a socially progressive state, Biskenstein looked to introduce universal health care. Experts, however, warned that Biskenstein's over-reliance on the incredibly unhealthy biscuits and gravy would prove costly on the small nation's limited health care resources. As such, the government announced a referendum allowing citizens to choose between the continued legalization of biscuits and gravy or universal health care. The country voted overwhelmingly in favor of biscuits and gravy, and the food became a source of national pride. By 1914, sausage, gravy, and bread made up 84% of the microstate's imports, and by 1917, Biskenstein's average life expectancy dropped to 43. The state's economy slowed to a crawl, and in 1923, the microstate suffered a great recession. Lethargic from a diet rich in gravy, Biskenstein was ill-prepared when the U.S. Army occupied the territory in 1925. Wow. Biscuits! 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 So we're gonna have 12 biscuits per, per thing, right? Six? How many you see there? <coughs> Holy shit. I'm sorry. <coughs> God! Why? Why? Why, body? Jesus. All right. That seems easy enough. Everybody gets two biscuits. Okay. Okay. Somehow you you all were so quick to that. Like, duh, bear. Obviously you're going to get two biscuits. You don't just want one fucking biscuit. Yeah, let's just do cinnamon buns. Sure. I haven't done these in a sec, though. Buns. Is that it? Just put some cinnamon buns in the oven? Do you even drizzle them, or are you just serving them raw cinnamon buns with no icing like some kind of fucking monster? We are. What's wrong with us? That's offensive. This is a sweet looking truck though, dude. This is the breakfast truck. Eggs, muffins, croque monsieur, biscuits and gravy, quiche, burrito. Not quite all eggs, but yeah, it's close. I could get there if I replaced muffins and cinnamon buns, but I'm pretty happy with what we got. Hey, you too, Buttercup. In before you lose two holding stations right off the bat. Don't you put that evil on me. Croak kind of breaks the theme. What is it made of? I guess we're about, or we're about to find out, aren't we? Oh, yeah, there's no cheese in this at all. W-H-R. B-W-H-R, B-W-R. That's right, I forgot. Okay. Muffins. <coughs> I'm gonna talk less for a sec so I stop coughing, if that's okay. Sorry. Oh, that kind of runs contrary to what I'm supposed to do. Okay, here we go. I gotta make a custom scramble. Uh, nine. Okay, uh, good. Got it. Nice. All right, almost lost them, but we're good. Almost lost them. Goodness. Do, do, do. Hey, cookies. Why? Scramble. I did. He wanted scrambled. I gave him sunny side, didn't I? No. 
No! Oh, well. Just realize we got one holding station for each item here, too, so I should definitely do it that way. I don't know why I didn't do it the first time that way. There we go. I just... <laughs> God! <laughs> Give him dry cereal! I, I can put a cup of milk next to it. I don't know why I'm not able to do that after the fact, but... Fine. Biscuits. Buns. Eggs. Eggs. There we go. Wheats, milk, blueberries. Got it. Chorizo potato and oil. Crust, asparagus, chives, spinach, mushroom, egg batter, mozzarella. Oh, God, why can't I figure this out? There we go. Oil, got it. Cooking and serving. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Okay, and now... Uh, oh, boy. There we go. We got it. Nice. Okay. Griddle up some eggs real quick. Boil and poach. And we're off to the races. Let's go ahead and get our other prep done real fast, because I'm sure we'll need some. Just don't know exactly what yet. Okay. Wait to do the eggs, or wait to do the cinnamon buns to like right before we get there, I think. Since those go bad so fast. Yeah, I'll wait for a sec. <clears throat> Alright, now I'll do it. Crust, chives, spinach, tomatoes, mushrooms, egg, mozzarella. Got it. Good. Crust, chives, spinach. Got it. We're almost there. Seven. Chocolate crisps with milk. Wheats with milk. Crust, onions, asparagus, broccoli. Egg, cheese, and mozzarella. Oh my god, my Z key broke again. Ah! Playing at a very significant handicap with that thing. Got it. Good. Very good. Very nice. We need more biscuits and gravy. Very good, very good. Oh boy. Oh, we need more fresh cinnamon buns, too. Along with... Those. Good stuff. Good stuff. Okay. We're there. Go, go, go! Two more stops. Let's do it. Uh, let's just do one a piece this time, since we need everything. Wait on those again. Okay. Milk and blueberries, chocolate crisps, milk, riso, oil, crust, potato, asparagus, spinach, tomatoes, mushrooms, egg batter, mozzarella. Got it. Taking a second on those. Okay, good. Taking care of it, chef. Oh god. Oh fuck. I didn't get this right, did I? I burned it! No! Oh, man. 
damn it, dude. I, th I had to think for half a second on that. I wasn't sure I got it right. But I did, and then... It was too late anyway. Oh well. So close. So close, man. Still got a whole nother stop, actually, so I don't know if I would have even gotten it. We'll find out, I guess. Gonna take a second here. Sorry, y'all. Poorly prepared for this. Go ahead and get everything's ready while I'm set up. do we need? Muffins. We close on Twitch. Thanks very much for the resubscription. Welcome on back. It's good to have you. the wrong button again. It was so close to perfection. So close. It's so far here. Two mistakes. This is a pretty tough menu, it turns out. It's giving me a little bit of complication. Oh no. Okay, we're good. More buns. I work at five guys. This game gives me anxiety. <laughs> I was just at five guys recently. Tasty burgers. All right, that was acceptable. Acceptable performance. To be improved upon later. Thanks. That was okay. It was decent. Only missed a couple obvious fixes. Good stuff. Here we go. We had a couple of four point uh, four point items on that menu, man. It's gonna be a tough gold. Anytime. Five hundred miles down, fifteen hundred to go. Oh yeah, give or take. Mostly give. What was that? Nothing. Really? Because it sounded like you muttered something. Well, it's 1,500 miles as the crow flies, but this isn't a crow, it's a food truck. And we've got a lot of states to dodge. It just looks more like, and more you know, despondent the in the back. The war, the ones that sank into the ocean, the ones that are currently on fire. Oh, and you can't forget the ones that walled themselves off, like Texas. And then, of course, you have the land of the dead. Yeah, yeah, okay, Whisk, I understand. <laughs> so how many actual miles until we get to Nashville? About 4,000? 4,000? 4,000. And that's assuming we don't get lost. In the Blue War, I got lost all the time. <laughs> but yeah, hey, maybe this will be different. First time for everything and all that? 4,000. Yay. No yay. <laughs> we reached South Dakota. I think that might be the first time that sentence has ever been said with an exclamation point. We might still be far away from the competition, but I can already taste victory. <laughs> Alright. Here we go. Yay, uh, there's a city in South Dakota called Wall? Oh my god. I bet the focal point of this entire town is a wall. Look at our wall! We named the city after it. Yeah, we're leaving Utah. Da, 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 da. 
Everything's closed. We ain't getting out of here until we get some work done. All right. No requirement here. But they're all two pointers. Oh boy. No more simple shit. Well, unless you pick corn dogs and oatmeal and tiramisu, soda floats, Salisbury steak. You know, you can keep it pretty simple. They're all twos, though. There's literally nothing but twos. So it's not like I could make it much more difficult to begin with. Let's do soda floats and dessert shooters. And iced Americanos. Espresso was first served in Italy in the late 19th century. Although the drink quickly became popular in Europe, the concept of an espresso was almost unheard of in the United States until the 1920s. After prohibition laws went into effect, resulting in the production, transportation, and sale of alcoholic beverages being outlawed in the United States, many law-abiding Americans still long for the days of drinking shots after work. Observing this unique business opportunity, the Italian mafia opened cafes where they served shots of espresso as an alternative for law-abiding citizens. To the mafia's delight, espresso became enormously popular, establishing the local expression, let's do shots of espresso. The increased consumption of caffeine led to an increase in productivity in the United States in the mid-1920s, causing historians to dub the decade the Roaring Twenties. Today, espresso is enjoyed responsibly. That's real quick. And it burns real quick. Oh, real, real, real quick. Oh my god. You gotta be so fast with that. That's probably like the only difficulty involved with it. Because I'm pretty sure all these are gonna be exactly the same. Yep. That's pretty much it. Well, that's extremely easy. Okay, sure. Why not? Begin day. Hey, Halo One's almost hitting beta. Ooh, shit. Let's go, dude. I really hope that at least two or three will bring about the resurgence of Halo that I was looking Welcome for. Welcome to Halcyon County. Who would have thought this tourist trap would grow into a thriving country town? Also home to the best sports team in the world, the South Dakota Roast Beefs. <laughs> Lever. I didn't know you were a beef head. So what are you? <laughs> Do you think Chef's a beef head too? Oh. No doubt. Go roast beefs. Roast their beef. Go roast beef. <laughs> roast their beef. <laughs> I don't even remember what I was talking about. Hey, you got it. Oh, yeah, the Halo Resurgence, right. Yeah, I hope that uh, two or three brings it, because Reach definitely did not. As much as I wanted it to, anyway. I'm hoping that more of my friends and colleagues get more interested in it again. To be honest with you, I'm not even really playing that much Reach anymore. So I don't really blame folks. Oh, I didn't even make any tiramisu. Oh, I, I'm making it, though. Okay. There we go. Whoops. There we go. All set. Oh, I did the wrong one there, didn't I? No, I didn't. I'm good. Uh, seven. Eight. Nice. Getting it. 
I knew it the moment I said anything, man. I have this little voice in my head that says, don't say anything in this moment because as soon as you do, your entire process is going to destroy itself. Who would have thought this tourist trap would grow into a thriving country town? Also home to the best sports team in the world, the South Dakota Roast Beefs. Cleaver. I didn't know you were a Cleaver. So am I. Do you think chefs are beefhead too? Oh, no doubt. Go roast beefs. Roast their beef. Go roast beefs. Roast their beef. If I keep messing up hot dogs, these are going off the fucking menu, man. Welcome to Halcyon County. Who would have thought this tourist trap would grow into a thriving country town? Also home to the best sports team in the world, the South Dakota Roast Beefs. The beefs. South Dakota Roast Beaver. Beefs. I didn't know you were a beef head, so am I. Do you think Chef's a beef head, too? Oh, no this doubt. Is one of the best songs in the soundtrack, at least. Beefs. Roast their beef. Go roast beefs! Roast their beef! All right, radio silence for a bit. There we go. There we go. Stop breaking the brain. Got it. Bubble CD. Bubble. Yep. There we go. All right, we should be pretty much good to go here. Go roast beefs. Roast their beef. Go roast beefs. Roast their beef. Okay. We're good, we're good, we're good. Takes it easy on me when he gives me all the dessert sh shooters, too. On it, chef. Almost burned the espresso. Oh god. Got it. Woo! Woo boy. Joker bird. Roast their beef. Thank you very much. Welcome on back in. Three months on the pile, appreciate it. There we go. Let's go ahead and make a fresh set. Oh, that's it. Never mind. We're good. He's done it! Yes! Finally not confounded by the corn dog. Yay! I never doubted you for a second. Only 77, not extremely impressive. At level two, but we take what the game provides us, I guess. The beefs have been roasted, yes indeed. Another 10 point menu. Several of them. Let's do it. Got pie on there. <clears throat> Deluxe nachos. Sizzling apple pie. 
served on a sizzling plate with whipped or with ice cream on top. Sizzling apple pie is a dish that u- utilizes contrasting temperatures to tickle the taste buds. That's a great sentence. This quality has been made or has made it an especially versatile dessert that can be enjoyed year round, making for a great way to cool off in the summer, warm up in the winter, and stay comfortably content in spring and autumn. Of historic and political significance is that one particular slice of sizzling apple pie was elected as mayor of Beaconsfield, Iowa in 2037 by its 20 residents after a food truck serving the dish made an unexpected stop in their town. The owner of the food truck said the residents were so excited for something to come to their town that they cleared out the truck's inventory and explained that I think they liked the pie more than they liked each other. So they elected it. So they elected the last slice as mayor so nobody else could have it. That makes sense. Sizzling apple pie. Cav. Just make cav every time. Okay. That's easy. I'd elect a pie over some people. No, I'm with you. Yeah, that, that seems like the right thing to do. I want to live in the town where the dog is the mayor. They got their heads on straight. They took the, like, gubernatorial responsibility away from human humankind and instead placed it in the hands of the most beloved creature on the planet. Is that the same every time? Pie, brandy sauce, ice cream, and caramel. That's very easy. You can totally do that. I'd eat that too. That looks pretty delicious, dude. Okay. Well, let's just stick with the theme then. Pie day. Pie and ribs. <laughs> well, hang on. Let me see what our main foods can be. Steak and shooters? That does the job for me. Oh, we got chicken breast. I haven't seen chicken breast yet. Of all the commonly eaten parts of the domesticated chicken, the breast is among the most popular. Chicken breasts are used in a variety of dishes as well as considered their own dish when baked, boiled, or fried with various seasonings and spices for additional flavor. Historically, the chicken breast is relatively mundane, having been discovered by early humans who are believed to have been very surprised that there was tasty and edible meat beneath the sea of feathers they presume previously assumed made up 100% of the chicken's biology. Chickens are mostly delicious when tenderized with a tenderizer hammer, as hitting the birds with other tools or weapons, such as a sword, only makes them more angry. Oh, these are familiar times here. There we go. Oh, it's a fucking Zelda reference. I didn't even realize that. Yeah, that is, that's cute. Okay. Let's do some chicken. It's chicken and steak. Let's go. Let's get serious here. Let's get fucking serious. Indeed. Sizzling apple pie. Normal pie slices with a little bit of rhubarb. And salad. Easy. Probably gonna have to make a few more salads, actually. Got it. Ready? We're nearly there. Why is chicken not C, by the way? I think I might change that. P-B-I-A, P-B-I-A, that's right. There we go. I love watching you work, Chef. Okay. Crust, blueberry, and lattice top. Lattice or lattice? I don't know. I'm gonna wait on the salads for a sec. Mm. Lattice? Okay. Let's 
taking my sweet old time here, man. No need to rush. <clears throat> Oops. Okay. A couple of new pies. Shouldn't be too bad. Uh, Graham, coconut, meringue, and that. There we go. Some pumpkin, good. Got it. Nice. That was a pretty easy one. For a ten point menu, we managed to make that pretty simple. Cool. You can overpound the chicken breast, yeah. So you gotta do it exactly six times. Shit, good shit, good shit. You always overpound your chicken? That's what happens when you're young. We'll take time, you'll learn. Okay. Another 10 pointer. Let's do it. Put the pie on there again? Another cannoli opportunity, too. Tiramisu as well. Wrote for a free two points. I might just do that. I could put the cannoli on here, man. I've been feeling pretty confident about the cannoli. Especially because you can make so many per holding station. I think it's like 16. That'd be really nice if you only had to have like one. The Coley cannoli. You've <laughs> been waiting for that, huh? Yeah. <laughs> now is your moment. So, again, like with this one, it's a four-step process where you do, you know, like cannoli first, obviously. And then it's a, uh, it's a first letter apart from chocolate. So I just got to remember chocolate is uh, H. Although I could just change cho- oh, no, yeah, cannoli is C, obviously. Hmm. What if I put cannoli as, like, A? Since I won't really be able to fuck that up. I kind of want to try that. And then I can do chocolate as C. That's going to be a lot easier for me. And then those are all first letter. So if we do cannoli as A, and then those are all first letter from that point. Chocolate sauce is O. Caramel is A. I guess that's fine. Cannoli, vanilla, chocolate chips is H. Ah, there's so many C's in this one, man. K for cannoli, maybe, yeah. Um, I don't know. I think I'm going to still avoid the cannoli for now. I definitely don't need it on this menu. Let me have a look at the special order foods as well real fast. Milkshakes. Ooh, fun. Milkshakes were invented in the 1880s, then described as a sturdy, healthful eggnog type of drink. With eggs, whiskey, etc. served as a tonic as well as a treat. In 1922, however, the drink had transformed into a non-alcoholic drink made with ice cream and chocolate, strawberry, or vanilla syrup. By the 1930s, milkshake <coughs> milkshakes became incredibly popular drinks among children and young adults, who would often use malt shops as hangout spots where they could casually sip milkshakes. Unfortunately, the popularity and relatively unhealthy qualities of milkshakes led to an increase in lethar lethargy, which would contribute to America's initial reluctance to enter into the Second World War. Though their popularity waned in the decades that followed, many chefs in the mid-2010s began experimenting with the drink by using unique or exotic ingredients to create new flavors, such as coffee, bacon, pumpkin, or peanut butter and jelly. This led to the second milkshake boom in 2024, which in turn led to an even greater sense of lethargy across the nation. Pardon me. Ultimately contributing to America's poor performance during the Blue War. 
As a result, in 2027, the United States government passed the Movers and Shakers Act, stating that all milkshakes sold must contain at least 40 milligrams of powdered methylphenidate as a means to prevent future inactivity during times of war. Okay. Be sure to place the cover. Chocolate chips, cookie bits, hard candies, and a chocolate scoop of ice cream. Oh my. Ice, milk. That's certainly simple, isn't it? Milkshakes committed war crimes. That's the lesson we're learning here, yeah. Chocolate caramel bits, I'm guessing, is what that is. Cookie bits with mint in the cover. That's not too bad. I could probably do that if we need some big time points. Gotta do soda floats. Any opportunity to get a root bear float, I've gotta take. Um, Trace Leches, please. Let me give it a practice round. Oh, no, we've done Trace Leches before. Trace Leches is pretty easy. Paper stars! Three months on the pile, welcome on back in. You didn't add the 40 milligrams of meth. That's true. I wonder why that's not on the uh, ingredient list. Right, poke holes, milk, then whip. Yeah, we could do this. Sure. It's a three-pointer, I mean, that makes it easy. And then, let's see. Gelato's like ice cream, yeah. It's like a fancy ice cream. We can do gelato. Oh, there's a souffle? There sure is, look at that. Oh shit. Let me have a look at this. Raspberry batter. Let me just cook that up, okay. Just one page of these. Copies F. Makes sense. Oh, wait, C is cheese. Chocolate is H. Oh, of course you can uh, very quickly burn a souffle too, that makes sense. Hmm. That's not that hard. It just burns quick. It's a four pointer. Yeah, I kind of like the coffee. Hmm. Well, we only need five more points. So let me go have a look again at our holding station foods and see what we're actually going to put in here. So I can do tiramisu. Um, I can do rote and then dongo. That wouldn't be too bad. That would pretty much handle the point requirement. Yeah, sure. Let's do that. And then I'm gonna do I'm gonna do something new to round out this menu here, I think. Maybe like ice cream scoops. That could be good. The long held and popular tradition of eating ice cream out of a bowl was challenged in the early eighteen hundreds with the creation of the ice cream cone, which was created either in France or England but patented in Italy. The creation of the ice cream cone was notable in that it not only held ice cream in place, but was completely edible and a delicious complement to the sweet frozen treat. In 1904, the ice cream cone took the world by storm and was considered such a radical invention that many ceramicists at the time feared that it marked the start of a new trend in edible dishware that would put them out of business. These ceramicists came together and purchased a large space in the 1907 issue of the World Food Journal, in which they pleaded with the world's population to not let edible dishware catch on. Unfortunately for the ceramicists, the World Food Journal did not actually serve the entire world and was only read by the very small population of people in southwestern Indiana who enjoyed reading about ethnic foods. 
Uninha uninhibited, the ice cream cone continued to grow in popularity, though as of writing has yet to dominate any other food markets. Edible dishware, right? Yeah, where are we with that, huh? Scientists. Ramp up the pace a little bit. Oh, no, we've done... Oh, we've done this. And this is easy to fuck up. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know about that. I think because I don't have any kind of point requirement here, I might keep it a little easier. Let's do King Cake again. King Cake was fun. Sounds good. Good menu. I don't actually remember how to make it, but I, I'm sure I'll remember. Very quickly. Edible dishware. We need to, need to expand on the edible, edible silverware market. Ooh. Hang on. Oh, shit. Okay, well, let's wait and see what he destroys. Hey, pal. Oh, fuck. Okay. Right, baby, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot about the baby part of that. All right, uh, do, di, dipper b, dipros. I gotta do this again. That broke my brain. Let's have some fun today. Didn't know what was going on for a moment. I might not even do king cake. Food truck incoming. Hang on. D I P R B O S C. D I P R B O S C. Coming in. We're almost there. Dipper Bosk. That's right. Dipper Bosk for king cake. Okay. Good. Fuck me, dude. One more go. All right, let's get moving. This is a five stop banger. This is going to be hard. Food truck incoming. Hang on. This is going to be very hard. We need to change stops. New food orders coming in. Okay. We're good still. Ready for the next stop? There we go. Okay, finally getting sorted here. Root bear float! Yay! Go, baby. On it, chef. Poke, chocolate whip. Poke, chocolate whip. Poke, milk whip. Poke, chocolate whip. There we go. There we go. That's better. Dipper Bosk! There. I love watching you work, Chef. I'm pretty impressive. I gotta admit. Blackberry. Done. Okay. That is that. Very nice. Good. We've not had to have, uh, we're not dealing with that many people per stop, it seems. Which I'm totally fine with. Looks like we might even have a couple in this one. I discovered an amazing adult root beer float. It's Kahlua rum root beer 
and a float of heavy cream on ice. That sounds like a dessert, honestly, more so than an alcoholic beverage, but I do want to have it. Keep up the good work. That does sound tasty. All right, this has gotten much easier for me now that I've gotten a handle on things. I don't know why this menu was so difficult for me the first couple of times, but I managed to put that part of my brain away that was broken and get back to the fixed part. There we go. Very nice. Oh, here's the big one. Here's the big boy. Blackberry is B close. I cannot remember these for the life of me. Rote kills me. Good. Okay. Good shit. We're all set. That berry one does look tasty, doesn't it? That's a nice looking color right there. Mm-hmm. Good deal. Almost there. It's gonna be a lot of prep work at the end of this. It's alright though. Let's do it. Alright, more rote. More tiramisu. And seven, or eight, my bad. There we go. Blueberry, close the door, got it. Mordongo. 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 Got it. Nice. It's looking good. It's looking good, my friends, except for the tiramisu that I forgot to make. Ha! Whoops. There we go. <laughs> there we go. I swear this song is Megalovania. We got a similar vibe, yeah. Now we just wait patiently to see the delicious combo come to a complete fruition. Come to a crescendo. And there it is. Day complete! Upgrade points do I have? I haven't looked at that in a second. Six! Oh my god! Sweet! Max level! Level two! Foods now take twice as long. Oh no, that's gonna be level three. The next upgrade for this, foods now take twice as long to burn up when the cooking timer's in the red zone. That's nice. Probably would've helped me out already. Okay. Another 10 pointer. Let's do it. Not a lot of variety on this one. Not a lot of difficulty on this one, really. What's the hardest special order food? Level two. Nothing above level two on this menu. Huh. Okay. Zrazy! Let's get Zrazy. I don't know how to make it, though. Do, do, do. 
Hell yeah, Jake. Sounds good, buddy. Meat, flatten. Uh, these are all first letter apart from mushroom, which is you. Roll bread. Meat, flatten, mushroom, roll bread. That's pretty easy. I can do that. Get that on the menu. Let's do, uh, let's do the Salisbury steak. And how about some Pad Thai? A popular stir-fried rice noodle dish and street food in Thailand that was invented in 1930 by the then Prime Minister as a way to increase nationalism during a time of nation building. The effort was successful as the people of Thailand not only enjoyed the dish but identified with it on a subconscious level. Enemies became friends, friends became lovers, and lovers became more strongly unified by the love of Pad Thai for the next hundred years. Noodles, shrimp, broccoli, peppers. NHBR. Appears to be the same every time. And no worries, Zerith. I've, I've been feeling kind of bad about that, honestly. The fact that I've left that on the back burner for so long. I do plan to get back to Disco at some point, but it's just been... I don't have a definitive plan, I'm sorry. But I, I want to I wanna probably like add it on to the end of some stream at some point in the near future. Probably, probably this week, in fact. I would anticipate Thursday or Friday that maybe we'll do a little bit of uh, disco after after Cook Serve. Because I do want to play more of it. It's been a minute now. It's a little more complicated than I thought it would be. I think maybe I'll... Uh, I'll do Shepherd's Pie again. From what I remember, this one is pretty simple. On the apps. On the apps, that's right. With the cheese sometimes. Yeah, that's easy to do. Let's do that. And then for our holding station items. We only need four more points. So I could do... Uh... Well, it has to be either a two twos or a two and two ones. It's the only way we can make it happen. So I'd feel pretty good about doing like... Hold on. How do you make Masaka again? Bread, ground meat, potatoes, eggplant, and bechamel. Does that have to be in that order? Yes. In the following order. Okay. That's easy, actually. Let's do that. Let's add masaka. Let's do fried fish. And let's do pancakes. Da -da 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 -da. I'm pretty sure... Oh, that's definitely what I'm going to do with it, uh, or Kyrion. I've been mentioning it a couple of times. I definitely want to try to do disco in, like, uh, short bursts over the course of the next couple of months, probably. Just to try to finish it eventually. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and make Blueberry B... Well, I don't know. Blueberry's usually L, so I could probably get used to that. The con is E. Blueberry's L. Okay, we can do this. Let's go. Let's go. Don't mess with the blueberry. Yeah. Hello, chef. Good luck today. Right. Need a couple of those. Lots of fish. Lots of fish. And a bunch of pancakes. Alrighty. Here we go. Lots of orders to start. It's not how you make that. Okay, let's try again. Good to see you, Chef. <laughs> That's alright. That'll happen. Okay. All right, here we go. Meat flattened potato is P. I 
on the app, right. But no cheese on that. Mush. Good. We cool. are nearing the next stop. Goody. Right, I think I got this pretty well. How, how are we only making three pancakes per stack up there, by the way? What the fuck? For a bunch more pancakes. Care, Waiting for a lot more pancakes. Uh, pecan is E. Good. Don't go! Don't go anywhere! Holy fuck, dude. There's a lot of people ordering here. Okay. There's so many people ordering here. Good lord. I'm gonna let this one not be perfect, I think. Proving quite challenging. All right, that's all we need here. Got it. That's all right. You're just warming up. I missed one order. Incoming food truck. God damn it. All right, that's okay. Returning fire. Could have been worse. Good, good, good. No problem, chef. Good stuff. All right. Yeah, I lose a holding station when that happens. I knew I was going to throw out one I needed. I knew it was going to happen. Oh, well. Custom fish for you. Ooh. Who's 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 they? Armor-plated holding stations win. When's that going to be an upgrade for us, right? When's that show up? Okay. Good. Before 69 pancake orders, we're getting there, I think. Before it goes bad. Good Lord. Got 
Got it. On it, chef. Nice. Okay, we're good. We're good. Woof. Think I need one more fish? No, we're set. More pancakes. There we go. I think I missed one order in that entire day, which is a bit of a bummer. Because that was a little tougher. I would have loved to get the gold there. Oh well. Still pretty good. Still pretty good. It's pretty good. Yeah, that's what I said. Mm hmm. Pretty not terrible indeed. And another level up, which means another upgrade ship. But I believe we need two more in addition to that. So, still a bit to go. A 12 point menu. You know what? I'm going to take a little easier on myself. Give me something with no points. And they're all, they're, oh, damn, they really want me to take it easy on myself. Holy shit. <laughs> okay. Let's just have some fun. Yeah. This won't be too bad at all. Uh, a little bit of donuts on there. Some blanc mange. Maybe some pretzels. We haven't made, some, made, or made many pretzels. And, uh... Let's go with duck confit. Notable for using all parts of the whole duck in its preparation, duck confit is considered one of the finest French dishes. Following the unexpected population boom of ducks in the wake of the Blue War, it has also become one of the most popular dishes in the nation. As movies, restaurants, and politicians push duck-based dishes further into the public consciousness in an effort to utilize the plentiful resource. To further curb the fowl population, the federal governments offer a large cash reward to the person or persons who can produce a dish that uses even more than a whole duck. How? That seems physically impossible. Raw duck, puncture it, put in the melted fat. All right. Two ducks. Oh, now you're thinking. That's why they call it two duckin'. Right? Right? Right, chat? Right? That's why they call it two ducking. <laughs> oh, man. Good thing the stream's ending soon. All right. Well, we can do that. Begin day. Stuff a duck with another duck. Two ducking. You do the cooking. I'll do the driving. I'll do the ducking. How about that? Mm -hmm. I'm not going to be able to prep enough stuff, dude. I'm going to have nearly enough shit prepped. Oh, no. This is supposed to be easy. I'm screwed! Uh-oh. Let's find out if I'll survive. Drink good, mm -hmm. Alright, man. Did you say hit the control button a bunch? I'm just gonna start hitting the control button right now, and then let's hope that that does some good. Let's see. I'm just gonna put my other hand up, and I'm just gonna hit the control button a lot. Oh no! Hang on. We got a few things we gotta do. One sec. EPF nuggets, and then churros. There we go. Okay, now they're waiting. There's only two stops here. We have a lot of people left to serve at this one as well, so this is interesting. Uh, we need more duck. No problem. Need more uh, churros, I believe. 
There we go. There we go. Uh, even more churros, I think. And then even more churros, I think. Okay. Get rid of the pretzels. We actually need another batch. Germans, there we go. Another batch of donuts. Another batch of duck. Good stuff. All right, more nuggets. This is certainly easy. It's just that we can't stay nearly prepared enough to hit everybody's needs. So they just gotta wait. At least we get to hear these bangers! Alright, almost there. One more and let's do it. Alright. So we set our menu here and let's get ourselves some donuts in there. Let's just do one set of donuts, probably two pretzels again. That seems smart. Actually, let's do all three pretzels. Nah, that's dumb. That's real dumb. We'll do... We'll do everything. Uh, 8 CL, 10 CL, got it. There we go. Hit the control button. Hit that control button, baby. Woo! There we go. All right, fantastic. And then we got to get more churros. We get more duck. We got to get more uh, nuggets. We got to get more donuts. There we go. No problem, chef. Giving you Kingdom Hearts vibes, really. That's interesting. I guess I can kind of hear it in parts. Definitely not right now. Not at all right now, but there's there's moments I suppose I can hear that. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, this is an easy one, man. No problem. It is all level zero, so I don't know what I expected, but sure enough. We cruised on through. Sounds like a gummy ship theme? theme? Maybe, yeah. He's daughtered! You can give me a couple of balloons for that. A perfect run? Impressive. I mean, not really. It's a level zero. I'll take it, though. I'll take it. How about Simply Solids 1? Oh, it's all the level 1 stuff. Okay. So this is going to get up to Simply Solids 5, and then I'm just fucked. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's scary. We got the easy way out first. Oh, dude. I'm loving this fucking track, by the way. This is my happy place. This song's so good. It's so good, man. Oh boy, all right. Let's get going.
Okay. Here we go. Stuffed, red sauce, cheese, pep, sausage, beef, bacon. Done. Pizza slices. Hand toss, red sauce, cheese, beef, mushroom, onion, olives, greens, tomatoes. And then last one, pizza slice, thin, queso cheese, mushroom, olives, spinach, red peppers. Done. Crap. Those are going to get me. Those are going to get me. Pea, chocolate syrup, gummies, and a whip. Good. Okay, we got it. We got it. We got it. We're all set. We're going to have to make a bunch of pizza. Why am I watching this horny? That is not what I expected to read. But I did. Parmesan, chicken, olives. Got it. Okay, now we need to make two. Got it. And toss, red sauce, cheese, sausage, beef, Parmesan, peppers, tomatoes. Got it. Got it. Uh, and then we need more lasagna. Got it. Sweet. We made it. Yay. Whew. Go, go. All right. One last batch, and I'll do it. Off we go. Pesto sauce, oh shit. Uh, pesto, cheese, and pep, good. It actually looks kinda good. B, stuff, red, cheese, pep, sausage, beef, and bacon, got it. Rocky Road is uh, R, strawberry, nuts, and whip, good. Mint, chocolate, gummies, and whip. Good. Good. Got it. All set. Can you select your own music? And if so, can we try porn music? I don't think that's necessary right now. We've already got a horny chat member. I don't really want to encourage him. Oh, we need another set, don't we? Yes, we do. Only one, he says, yeah. <laughs> All right. Going good. Only one more stop. This seems like it's totally doable. Especially because I get, like, so long to just chill while I've got these things cooking. It's not too bad. I might have miscounted, yeah. Lots of pizza. Oh, God. Okay, we're going to make all the fucking pizza. Cookie dough, strawberry, sprinkles, and whip. B, hand-tossed pesto with cheese and pep. Good. Good. Uh, pesto, cheese, anchovies, mushrooms, onions, and greens. Good. Fuck! me I hit seven instead of six and I cooked the cookies too little no no dude oh my god that sucks soiled it I haven't even made enough pizza yet all right There we go. Everybody just sit pretty for a sec. Just chill. These cookies are fucking raw! I mean, I'd eat that. I'm just serving them cookie dough instead of cookies. Just bring them home and cook them. 
You like your cookies a little gooey? Really? If I'm gonna cook the cookies, I gotta cook them all the way through. I don't want no, I don't want no soft dough bits in the middle. No problem, Chef. Hang on, everybody. Gooey cookies are the best. I must be mistaken then. I like them soft, sure, not gooey though. I mean, they got you gotta cook them all the way through, man. What are you doing? I mean, we're not supposed to eat the cookie dough, period. But if you're deliberately undercooking it, I guess if you like the goo, thin red sauce, cheese, mushroom, olive, spinach, GNR. There we go, got it. 69 combo, nice. Oh, this song too, man. They're all such bangers, dude. We gotta try that one again. I can do that perfect for sure. I really should have just reset it so I wouldn't have to redo the Zero menu. Okay. Shut up! Shut your fucking mouth, Cleaver. I do not need that attitude right now. I'll get a goddamn gold medal. I'll show you. I'll fucking show you, Cleaver. Here we go. You do the cooking, I'll do the driving. Mm-hmm. That's the ordeal. The, the whole deal, not the ordeal. Uh, sausage, parm, onions, spinach, tomatoes. Good. These are going to be tough. Whoops. Damn, that's bad. There we go. That's easier. Uh, stuffed, pesto, cheese, parm, anchovies, bacon, onions, pineapples. Got it. Stuffs, queso, cheese, sausage, parm, onion, spinach, tomatoes. Good. All right, let's go. Uh, chocolate syrup, nuts, and whip. Good. Mint, strawberry, cookie bits. Okay. Good. Nice. And I'm gonna make one set of lasagna for now. <laughs> God damn it, I knew it. I knew it. No pizza, no pizza folks coming. Only lasagna. Fine, hang on. You just wait and wait for all of our pizza to go bad. All right, there we go. God damn it, dude. Where's all the pizza people? Come on. Help me out. Here they come. Do I even need more? I need one more slice. It's all going to go bad. Hurry up. Hurry up! Get the pizzas out there! Go on! Go, 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 go! Okay, got that one out at least. On it, My Jack. goodness, man. It was all lasagna first! It was all lasagna! Everybody wants lasagna! I'm gonna have to make one goddamn pizza for this one fucking person too, aren't I? Yep. There we go. I think I have another... Oh, no, I got all of those on I'm good. There we go. Jim Davies would be proud, yeah. Ha. That was unbelievable. All right, this one's not so bad. I'm so proud of you. That's nice. Beef, chicken, and bacon. Got it. Uh, and then one more. Actually, let's just go ahead and make all of it. Why not? Makes it easier for me. Okay. Uh, 
Rocky Road is R and then S P W. It's over. Fuck that. Oh well. Let's have some fun today. Didn't have a lasagna ready. This is hard. Harder than I thought it would be. Getting better at the pizza, though. That's nice. Feels good to be uh, gaining proficiency in that. And as I say that, I fuck one up. Uh, Alfredo cheese, pepperoni, and bacon. Good. All right, we got to make a lot of... A lot of lasagna again. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, dude. Fully charged and ready to go. God damn it, that's annoying. Pesto, cheese, parm, anchovies, bacon, onions, pineapple. GR, there we go. Good. Okay, we're doing good. Mac! Mac, thanks so much for the subscription. Appreciate it. Welcome under the pile. Enjoy your badge and emotes. Give them some bear hugs if you got in chat. Thank you very much for the support. good. MDB! Thanks for your uh, subscription as well with Twitch Prime. Welcome out to the bear pile. Good to have you. Appreciate all the support. All thanks for the subscriptions and such. Give them the bear hugs, please, if you could. Get them cozy. Naturally, there's only lasagna on the board now. Yet again. That's fine. I should have I should have anticipated this again. Thankfully I've got two slots for it now. I don't really want to dump off any of the pizza. This dude, yeah, he's looking put together, isn't he? He's got his life figured out. I know, yeah, you can order other things, you guys. It's not just lasagna. But okay. Off you go, then. Another one. Oh, God damn it. Off you go, off you go, off you go, off you go, off you go. All right, great. And one more pizza just for this guy. Just for this one guy. I'm actually going to make a bunch of pizzas now. It's going to be a good way to save some time. There we go. You were the best chef ever. Congratulations. Good. Got it. All right, take your time on these. I keep messing up the... Actually, I don't think I've been messing up my ice cream orders. So I want to give myself extra time while I have it. Sherbert, strawberry, sprinkles, whip. Got it. No problem, chef. Well, that was easy. Sweet. Off we go. Now we need a lot more pizza and everything. I'm going to do half and half this time. Three pizzas, three lasagnas. Hand tossed, red sauce, cheese, ham, pineapple. Rocky Rose R.
There we go. I'm gonna do one more uh, pizza, actually. There we go. Alright, we should have made a fresh lasagna too, but that's okay. Nope, fuck that up. Alright, that's not too bad. I think we got it, actually, just because we're going to be able to do just pizza and uh, lasagna from this point on. on it, chef. I think we got everything we need. I'll make one more of these. And then more lasagna. I think I got it. Music is phenomenal, yeah. Taking care of it, chef. I think he's done it. I think he's done it. Oh, we need one more pizza. There we go. Good to go, baby. Shars! Thank you for the five months on the pile. Welcome on back in. Oh, and look at this. Mad majesty in pizza form the 200 combo he's done it to see it with a level up to boot. Yes, sir. Yee, yee! All right. Cool. Oh, what a good day. I heard that yee coming out of my headphones from the bathroom. <laughs> I put a lot of emphasis into my yees. One more upgrade ship to get the cooking time regulator upgrade. I could also add the other prep station to be absolutely nutty. Special order is not yet made when arriving at a stop. Now have five seconds of additional patience. Ooh, that's nice. When leaving a stop, all foods and holding stations are given plus one freshness, plus two freshness, and plus one servings. Oh, that's kind of neat. Kind of neat too. Although I usually just end up making fresh stuff anyway. The perfect combo needed for delicious servings is lowered from 80 to 75. Oh, you get to delicious once you get to a certain combo level. I didn't even realize that. After an 80 combo, okay. Interesting. This upgrade increases the amount of servings you get per holding station food. Oh my god! I need this at maximum level immediately. Holding stations are reinforced, preventing them from being destroyed. Nice. Actual armored holding stations. Cybersecurity reinforced, preventing hack based attacks. And food truck reinforced, preventing any ram or massive attacks from doing significant damage. Cool. I love this upgrade system, man. This is so fun. I'm so into this. I am so into this version of Cook, Serve, Delicious. It is dope as fuck. This was a fun day. Uh, I think I'm gonna do one more just because I'm feeling good. So let's do it. I'm feeling, I'm feeling spunky. Let's do a 12 pointer. It's all chill. All right. They're kind of making our choices for us here. I might do a Kroska. Hold on, let's see what our special orders are. Shooters, floats. And... Gazpacho? How hard is gazpacho? I feel like gazpacho is pretty easy. Puree, vegetable, tomato, bean, avocado, cucumber, watermelon, and tomato. Why tomato? 
I love that sound, dude. Oh, that's cucumber whoops. That's a satisfying noise. Boink. Cilantro oil. So it's a B oil, O oil, or milk, or cilantro is L. And then tomatoes. I might just change cilantro to C. I don't know why I wouldn't do that. And why on earth would that not be C? Okay. And then you can do tomatoes. B, S, Y, or P flowers. And that's it. I can do that. I can definitely do that. Let me just make sure there's nothing else I'm missing.